both of you, congratulations on this amazing film. Thank, Thank you. you. So my first question is, what obstacles would you say, I know there's different, on different mm -hmm. ends, what obstacles would you say arose during filming and how did you guys overcome them? Well, there were lots of obstacles <laughs> just trying to fit her story mm -hmm. into a limited um, resources and schedule. Um, and then there were physical obstacles, a lot of them just uh, shooting at night in the mm -hmm. weather and um, you know, there were there was uh, more rain, I think, than in a hundred years oh, where in, was Richmond, this <laughs> in Richmond, Virginia, Virginia, out, right? around Richmond, Virginia. Nice. Um, so the, those are the major obstacles, um, just kind of physical, mm -hmm. how physically difficult it was. Yeah, right. and for me, going through those physical uh, obstacles, like getting into the water at thirty-seven degrees, mm -hmm. you know, those are those are real obstacles when you have you know haven't done those things before, um, because I did. Uh, we just realized all but one stunt. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, so all of it was myself. So it's sort of navigating all of those things and figuring out how to uh, do those and repeat um, at times uh, when you know you might be tired and you're not used to doing that. Um, so you just keep going and I think you make sure that you have a team around you that's taking care of you and that right. you know you're safe. Um, make sure that you've done the training beforehand mm -hmm. so you're prepared for it. Um, and and keep going and know in your head that, which is what we did, that we whatever we were doing was never any in any way, shape or form harder than what Harry would have had to go through. And Mr. Yeah. Vivo, I know you've done the training because that performance was spectacular. Thank you. Where did that come from for you? Um, it's come from uh, learning, it's come from uh, training. I went to drama school. Uh, I have some experience of, in life, I guess, and, mm -hmm. you know, calling on my own experiences as well, having an incredible director who uh, could help with any idea that I had uh, to hone it and make sure that it was tailored for what was necessary for this piece. Um, to help me, she gave me space when I needed it. Uh, when I was tired, she was there to hold my hand. Um, that's where it came from. And having an incredible cast who gave everything mm -hmm. that I needed in order to give what I, uh, I needed to give back. Yeah. Right. And Miss Lemons, for you, how did you, your vision kind of change or did it stay the same and was executed you know the way you intended once filming or when you got on set and whereas you can't you were around the cast and the crew did that kind of affect your initial vision and shape it into what the final product no, was? I mean I think that um that, that the vision remained in a beautiful way and it was so beautifully fulfilled that I'm still astounded. Um, John told the DP and I, we, every time we see each other, we're like, can you, you believe we got that? Right. I mean, I'm still astounded that we actually captured it, you mm -hmm. know, that we that we managed to kind of create it and capture it and that mm -hmm. the actors were so available and so present and so giving, you know, and the cast was wonderful. And we, we loved each other and the crew, you know, it was just a really great group of people. Right, and last question for both of you. What was your favorite part of the film, and what are you most excited for audiences to see? I guess one of my favorite parts, which was probably uh, heart-wrenching, was um, when uh, Harriet and John, they, I guess they, they break up, and John is found to have another wife. Um, just because it was, it's one of those moments that you get to sort of see her, her womanhood, her vulnerability, um, and it's not something that we know very much about. And it was really important to me that we saw that of her, because we see this wonderful hero, and she is, she's a superhero, and we see this picture of a woman, but we never get to see her as someone who was loved and loved back. Mm -hmm. And that, for me, was important. That's my favorite thing. For me, it was definitely having Harriet in my life mm -hmm. and having Harriet in my life through Cynthia. Mm -hmm. So it's both through the research and through her performance that I got to spend time with one of the great people that's lived, you know. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Congratulations to you, sir, on this amazing film. Thanks so much. So my first question to you is, did you know who William Still was before auditioning for the role or being requested for the role? I did. I did know who William Still was. I grew up in Philadelphia uh, where he did the, you know, the majority of his work with the Underground Railroad. So I knew the name. What I didn't know about was possibly what led him to that work was all the childhood stuff. So um, it was, uh, you know, I had the great fortune to be able to do the research to, f to learn about William Still's family and the fact that he was raised by two escaped slaves and learning about the specificity of his mother's story. His mother um, escaped once, was brought back. Escaped twice, was brought back. His father had already escaped. Uh, she had four children. She made the impossible decision on her third escape, uh, 
her third escape attempt to leave her two sons behind, and she just escaped with her two girls. So William was born in Jersey um, in freedom, but he was raised by a woman who was potentially grieving for the rest of her life. Right. And you know, what was that research process like, finding all that information out? Where exactly would you say that you started? Did you start in your hometown, or was it just... Oh, great question, but I mean, it's all... We live in the information age. It's all like, you know, it's all right there for you. Not only did uh, William was a, was, a, was a wonderful writer, so there's his, his, you know, his own writings about his life and the, lives, the lives of people that he met and loved, but then there's a lot of stuff written about him. There's, it's not... Um, it's not hidden. There's ton, there's tons of stuff. If you know, yeah, there's tons of stuff. Right. And so, when you were getting into character as William, how did you go about picking his demeanor? Did you get a lot of it from his work, or was it all based on kind of like given circumstances? And did you see like someone in real life, and you were like, I think I'm gonna model William after this person? Oh, what was good that question. Like? Um, well, I took I took a lot from his writings, you know, there was a formality to them and there was, uh, uh, there was, there was obviously a certain kind of, uh, education, you know, that he, you know, that I, that I sort of related to or understood. You're also trying to find the connection, right? You're trying to find the places of the, uh, the point of entry. So how are we alike? And, um, I, I, you know, so there was some, something about that that I related to, but then I also thought it would be interesting in the playing of it to really play up their differences. You know, Harriet and William couldn't be, couldn't be more different, you know, just um, two different examples of black life at the right, same time. Right, because of their backgrounds. Two different right. examples of black life living at the same exact time in America. Mm -hmm. um, and they come together, they meet. And they and they you know they meet in the movement and they you know they they do their work together their life's their life's work so much of it they do side by side but they come from different points of view so some of that is also just the actor and me like playing up the contrast because there can be combustion in that when people come from you know that odd couple thing when people come from different backgrounds you can mine that for drama or comedy. And my last question, what was your favorite part of the film after seeing it? And what do you think the audience's favorite part will be? Or their reaction to it, at least? My favorite part of the film... There was, there was a part I thought... I don't want to give too many things away, but there's a part where she... <laughs> no there's spoilers. A, yeah, there's a part where she, when she crosses a river. She crosses a, a, a particular river with uh, people with her. And, mm. and, I, and I really thought that the... It felt like the, the whole movie crossed over too. It feels like it's one movie before that moment and a different movie after. I agree. Um, so that was my favorite part, and I think the audience's favorite part that I saw, the audience's favorite part is when she when she really when she has her big confrontation scene. Mm. Uh, I think that was the that was the audience's favorite part. Thank you so much. Thank it you. Was so great speaking with you. you too. <laughs>